Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for Forger 1.19. In this tutorial we are going to be doing something extremely simple, we're not going to be covering anything crazy, we're just going to be showing you how to create a simpler way of registering your block and block items. So in the previous tutorial, as you know, we've registered our blocks and our block items. However, this was an awful mess as we have to basically uh, both use our item in it and our block in it just for a block. And that's really strange. Um, it, it's just weird. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead into our block in it. Okay. And let's go ahead and. Um, Okay, what we'll do, we'll create a method. So we're gonna call this, we're gonna make this private. It's gonna be static, and this is going to be a generic method. So we're going to go t extends block. Okay, and this will return our registry object of t. Okay, and we're going to, we're just gonna call this. You know, what, we'll just call it register. And we'll take in a name first, so our string name. Then we're going to want a supplier of block, or a supplier of T, actually. And we'll call this the, we'll just call it supplier. And we're also going to want an item dot properties. And we'll call that the properties. Okay, what we need to do in here is create a registry object of type T, and I'm going to call that the block is equal to blocks dot register, and that will take in the name and the supplier. Okay, and then we're going to want to call item init dot items dot register and we're going to pass in the name again and then we're going to say a supplier of a new block item and that's just going to take in the block dot get and it's also going to take in the properties now the reason we can do dot get here is because this itself is inside of a supplier so that won't get run until this supplier is called dot get anyways so that's perfectly fine once again this is another circumstance of where you need to know whether it's fine or not as i said before you can ask in my discord server which is linked in the description if you ever get stuck with something like that and then we just want to return the block so what we can do all we need to do now is remove this blocks here and Obviously that's not going to work because we're saying that we need an item property as well. So all we're going to do is come into our item in it and we're going to take these item properties here. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there and I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here as well. And I think that's one too many brackets. Yes, it is. Same up there. And that is it. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly format some of this. So let's just say uh, like that. And I'll do that here as well. Um, I'll actually do that just a little bit simpler there and that is actually almost it we just need to come back into our item in it all we need to do now is remove these two block items because we're registered we're registering them here as you can see so yeah I mean that's actually it we can now just run the game and it should be the exact same 
there should not be any difference whatsoever which we are about to go ahead and find out and I'm pretty sure this should work here we are voila we still have our two block items and we should be able to find them in our uh, in here as well so yeah we've got that one and we got that one that's it that's our two block items so yeah I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful if you did please do be sure to tap that like button and subscribe if you really found it useful then please do be sure to share it around I'm sure it'll help other people as well and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we will cover uh, actually breaking our block so loot tables not breaking as in you know making it not work but you know break, you, you know what I mean so yeah I'll see you guys then good bye Thank <laughs> you.